Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with James. I'm your host, James. Today, another simple and delicious cook for you. We are going to be doing blackened, or actually grilled blackened cod on the Ninja Foodie Smart XL grill. Try to get some great grill marks, and who doesn't love some awesome blackened fish? This will actually work with uh, any fish, so it doesn't have to be just cod, but salmon, uh, halibut, uh, trout, whatever you like. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the cook. All right, so here's what we got. We got some actually a little fresh cod, but you know, it's obviously from the store, but um, it was from the meat department. But anyway, now you can do this same recipe um, and cook it the same way with any type of fish. Uh, your salmon, your halibut, mahi-mahi, uh, whatever you want to cook, you can um, use this to do as a guideline. So anyway, uh, what we got is some cod, some nice, decent, thick pieces, pretty good looking. All right, now I just took them out. You don't rinse them off or anything. You just put them on the plate. First thing we're gonna do <clears throat> is go in um, with some avocado oil. So it's high heat oil is what it is. You can use vegetable or canola. What we're gonna do on the top side here, and make sure it's the top side, is just a quick spritz. Just a slight coat on the top. And the reason why um, is because we're gonna get that grill on the Ninja Foodie super hot. All right, so we are doing blackened. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna go in is with some It's Incredible. I always leave with this stuff. Check the description below. There's a discount. You can buy this stuff. It's amazing. I use it on literally everything. And we're just gonna go in with a little bit of that right across the top. Yeah, that smells delicious. And then we're gonna go in with our blackened seasoning. This is also a heaven made product, so I'll leave it a a link in the description below. There's a discount code down there as well where you can get a discount, but we're gonna use this for the top. Oh yeah. This stuff is pretty dang good. I used it on actually some pork chops uh, the other night. I like the flavor. It's not spicy. Um, it's between a mild and a medium, so it's not even medium. It's between a mild and a medium. But uh, yeah, this is some good black and seasoning so anyway um we got them all seasoned up as you can see here looking and smelling good already but i'm going to flip these over and repeat that process then we're going to go ahead and uh, preheat the ninja we'll see you in a minute all right so we are at the ninja foodie um just to show you what we're using inside is we are going to be using the grill grate and obviously the drip pan is below it but uh, so we got the grill grate in here and we're gonna close this thing up. So what we're gonna do, go ahead and turn this thing on. We're gonna use the grill function down here. We're gonna turn this thing up to max, press start, let it reheat, and then we'll get that fish on. See you in a minute. All right, so we are done preheating. As you can see, it says add food. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing up. Ooh, that thing is so we got our fish here all right now we oiled the top I uh, just want to let you know so we didn't oil the bottom this is the bottom of the fish so the top the reason why we oiled that is because it's so hot we don't want the fish to stick so the top of the fish here we're gonna lay down first we're trying to get some grill marks on these now I'm gonna set I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these in um, you know a way that for grill marks that I want, and you don't have to do this. You can just throw this fish in there any way you want. I'm just trying to achieve some grill marks. You know, I'm successful uh, with the grill marks, depending on what I'm cooking. Eh, about 75 to 80 percent of the time. So anyway, we got them down. They're all on there on the grate. That's awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna close the top here. Now we are going to, going to turn this off, all right? Now we are going to turn it back on. We are going to use the bake function. We're going to go at 350. Um, we're going to set it for 20 minutes. It's not going to take 20 minutes. And what's going to happen, um, usually so, it's going to start acting like it's going to preheat. You see the little digits right here? This takes about 30 seconds maybe. Um, but we're, I'll bring you right back and show you how to get past that in just a minute. Okay guys, um, we're back. It literally took about 15 seconds. Um, it was 
acting like it was going to preheat again, but it's already hot. So about 15 seconds. And then it says add food. What you want to do is just open up the top. So these have only been in there for about 15 seconds. And then you just close the top. And then it will resume to where you set it. We're at 350. We set it for 20 minutes. It is not going to take 20 minutes, but stick around. We're going to check it. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we are 3210 at the 1230 mark. We are seven and a half minutes in. And so what we're gonna do now, what you want your fish to be at is between 140, 145. If it goes a little bit over, that's fine. But 135, oop, 144. 140, 148, that's good, I'll take it. 132, 144, 146, uh, well, 149, register that. Anyway, these fish are done. Seven minutes, preheat, put them on. Now the question is, um, did we get any grill marks? I hope we got some grill marks over here. I love the beautiful grill marks, let's see. Oh, we did. It's, well, it's flaky and falling apart. You, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give this a minute to cool down. I don't know if you can see. I can't grab that fish. It's flaky and falling apart. I'm going to bring it to the cutting board and show you what we got. We'll see you in a minute. Mm, those look awesome. All right, so this is what we ended up with. Here's a closer look. Um, <laughs> absolutely perfect. Internal temperature, perfect. Let's see if it's flaky. Oh, oh yeah, it's super flaky. Just absolutely cooked perfect. Yum. Mmm. And the seasoning, oh, you've got to try the seasoning. Mmm. It's incredible. And the blackened, so good. Absolutely amazing. So don't go anywhere. Got something for you. Catch you up top. See you in a minute. All right. So we are finished with the cook and just one, just a close up. Let's see. Oh, I don't know if you can see the juices. It's because it's perfectly cooked. And we can get you in there like, yeah. And flaky, just break apart perfect. This, I need some tartar or some, some kind of sauce. It's getting everywhere. Anyway. So go ahead and pick up the It's Incredible, um, the Heaven Made Products, hit show more. There will be a link in the description below. There's also a discount code if you want to get those. I think it's like CWJ10 or something like that. But anyway, I am going to enjoy the rest of this with some stuff tonight. Maybe some hot sauce. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next cook.